The new South Dakota license plates are making their debut this month at county treasurer's offices across the state. It's the first time that the state has issued new plates since 2016, so there's a bit of a learning curve to steer through. Kettle Lands Perry Groton walks you through the process. The Minnehaha County Treasurer's Office has issued around 900 new South Dakota license plates since the first of the year. It's going well. People are, seem to be really receptive to them. So it's, and we get quite a few people coming down to the office to get them, and we're mailing quite a few of them out too. Matt Balt of Sioux Falls was surprised that he was getting new plates for his car and motorcycle when he came in to renew his tags. Ah, I like them. I like, I like Mount Rushmore. It looks cool. And the nice thing is that, uh, you can put your registration, your registration sticker on right now and it won't fall off because it's warm, right? <laughs> the new plates are free if you pick them up in person. Commercial vehicles and trailers are exempt, but just about everyone else who renews their tags this year has to get the new plates. That includes personalized plates. You can also order new plates through these self-serve kiosks located across the state but you'll have to wait around 10 business days to receive them through the mail, and there's a $5 charge. I'm surprised actually how many people mail in. They don't want to stand in line, and I, I get that, you know, but our lines have been going really well. Swanson says the treasurer's office is busiest on Mondays and Fridays, so you can likely avoid a long wait by picking up your plates during the middle of the week. You'll need to bring your driver's license and vehicle registration. In Sioux Falls, Perry Groton, Kelloland News. And people can also order their tags and plates online if they are due for renewal soon. And you can do that by going to the South Dakota Department of Revenue's website. We provide the link under this story on Kevlarland.com.